Hey everyone, we're here to talk about the third Elrond game. We haven't made an official announcement, so we figured it was time to, well, make it official. Yep. So, we present to you, without further ado, Eldrum, Black Dust. This time, the story takes place in the south. You're a drifter, a stranger in a strange land where nobody knows you. The world could have been your oyster, there's just one problem. You're on the run. You've been running for quite some time now. Why is that? Well, you owe money to a dangerous crime syndicate. They know who you are, and they found you in the city at night. They want the money. It's a lot of money. You won't be able to pay them back anytime soon, so they're gonna put you to work. And it's dirty work, for sure. But you can find your own way. Just make sure to find a way. There's a lot of different ways to make money in the city, legal or otherwise. So let's talk about the city and what kind of place you'll be dealing with. The Sunken Hollows, the city of caves. It's tucked away deep in a desert canyon. The city is ancient, but most people who live there came from somewhere else. They all had some reason to leave everything behind, much like you. The main draw is the arena. Gladiators from all over the world come to fight there. It's big business. You can make a living as a prize fighter, but first you need to prove yourself. And then you need to join a stable of gladiators. They will teach you how to fight like a professional. You have two options here. The choice will unlock a unique set of combat skills. This brings us to a brand new feature, which is character classes. So this is something we've wanted to do for a very long time. In our previous games, the protagonist has been something of a Swiss army knife in combat. An expert in everything. This time, we want players to feel more invested in their builds. We wanted to keep things simple, so there are two classes. There is a fighter, and there is a rogue. There is also going to be room for variation within the classes, so a fighter can be defensive and tanky, or maybe aggressive and reckless. The skills will be familiar to those that have played Red Tide, but we plan on adding a set of passive skills that emphasize your class's playstyle. So let's say you prefer to keep your opponents at a distance. If you invest in fleet-footed, you'll be able to move away without spending advantage. Would you rather smash your opponents with a big hammer, let's say a stone maul? Brute force will increase your damage with those kinds of weapons. Now we think this is gonna add another dimension to the game's combat, and increase replayability. So it's all still a work in progress, but we're pretty excited about it. That's right. So just like in our previous games, you have a lot of choices to make and there will be multiple endings. So you don't have to fight. There are non-violent solutions to most problems, but not all of them. You see, life is harsh. The Deadlands are bleak and dangerous. You can't save the world, but you can make it a better place.